so hello guys i welcome you back to my youtube channel as you can see this youtube channel is all about game development and its mechanisms i do tutorials in unity so basically today we are going to see how gun shooting mechanism works like as you can see if i shoot this cube and this cube is our enemy like it takes some some shots see as you can see it's taking some shots and it will disappear after some time as its health gets zero so we are going to see how this mechanism works and this uh, is very simple and it will be and it is very easy to understand so let's not waste much time and let's get started so in the gun script we have a variable for referencing to the camera's transform and also uh, the transform for the gun tip a float for fire rate gun damage and force and reference to the public recoil script and making it as a variable called recoil and the script as you can see here which i have already done a tutorial you can check it in my channel and we have a recast hit object which uh, stores the value of the hit uh, recast and it's named hit and we have a next time to fire it's mainly uh, related to fire rate the rate at which we fire per bullet in a second and so inside update we are just checking if it's eligible to fire or not so if we are pressing the mouse zero key which is the uh, left mouse button and uh, mainly it's everywhere common for shooting and we also you can remove this script this part if you don't need an automatic rifle if you need an automatic rifle then you need to put also check the condition that time dot time is always greater than next time to fire and uh, next time to fire we are updating every time it's running with uh, we are adding 1 by fire rate so if fire rate is 60 we are adding 1 by 60 to the time dot time and we are also calling the shoot script so if you don't need automatic fire so you can remove this part and then time dot time is greater than equal to next time to fire and also next time to fire is equal to time dot time plus 1 by fire rate you can remove this two part if you don't need automatic fire so again we are uh, going to the suit script suit part suit function so inside that we are checking if first we are recasting from the camera's position in the forward direction and storing the value in hit object which we created here as you can see and uh, we are putting a limit to which the the distance the ray will travel so again uh, let me uh, tell you we are doing a recast from camera dot position which is your main fps camera in a forward direction to your player body and we are storing the value whichever it hits in the hit object and the length of the ray i have set it for math, math dot infinity which actual infinity and you can put any value you want suppose you want 100 meter you can put 100 here and we are checking if it returns something if it will return something so this uh, this code will run so inside that just for testing purposes i have done debug uh, debug.log just to get the hit point whichever it is taking you don't need this so we are checking if hit dot transform dot compare tag as you can see i have uh, i have made a enemy square object here this object and i put a tag of enemy here you can add tag by pressing add tag and uh, write whatever enemy tag you need and just uh, change the tag of this game object to enemy so that it will belong to enemy tag and it will register the hit we are checking if hit which uh, which we had a variable recast it here it stores the value of the hit object so we are checking if that hit object dot, dot transform it's getting its transform and it's comparing its tag that it's equal to enemy or not so if it's true then it will uh, run this code and uh, otherwise it won't so if it's true so we just need to uh, go back to another script to uh, learn how this script works so i have already made another script see this enemy is there it also consists of an enemy script see as you can see here it consists of uh, health and uh, this all you don't need i have just put it here for another purposes you just need the health component here which uh, tells us how much health is uh, that box so let's see inside that script also so it mainly consists of uh, you can remove this script these are of no use to you now you if you want something advanced then only you are using this so it mainly consists of health which is 100f initially set which you can also change from the inspector so 
we are watch what we are doing is we are just uh, having a function which is public so that we can access it in our another scripts and i have made i have uh, named it take damage and it also takes a parameter which is a float d which is basically the damage done by the gun and we are always checking if health is less than equal to 0 if the health of the object is uh, less than 0 or equal to zero the game object will be destroyed the game object this small g refers to the game object to whichever it uh, the script is attached to and after one second so i put one f uh, is generally used for floating variable so one f and otherwise if health is not equal to zero every time this function is called we are decreasing the damage amount which is here which we will uh, uh, feed it from our gun script its its health will decrease every time which uh, this function is called uh, d times it will decrease every time so this is the enemy script which is attached to the enemy object here which also consists of uh, tag enemy and also consists of enemy script so again going back to the shooting script so if so it's checking if hit dot transform dot compare tag its enemy if its enemy object then we are making a new variable referencing to the enemy class here and named enemy just for temporary purposes and we are storing its enemy component here hit dot transform dot get component under under uh, uh, point packets uh, its enemy here with the curly braces closed so now we have by by this uh, line we are uh, store we are accessing all the functions and methods inside the enemy class in the variable named enemy so now uh, we are uh, calling enemy dot take damage the gun damage amount whichever we put and we are also adding force we are getting the enemy's uh, rigid body component and adding force in minus of hit dot normal in negative direction of normal as you can see the normal will face uh, towards opposite of the surface so we don't want it to come towards us when it when we hit so that's why we are putting a negative sign with multiplied by the force by which the bullet will impact and uh, that's all and afterwards i have a recoil a script which will always call the recoil from script from here uh, wait, let me show you uh, this script i have i have already done this video you can check that out in my channel so you don't need this you need to do this if you don't have the recall scripts and that's all for the shooting script and just uh, attach it to your ar game object here and put the value so camera is our main fps camera here see this camera and uh, gun tip you don't require this now i will uh, when it will get advanced i will do it more so fire it i put it at 10 and gun damage the every time the gun will hit the enemy object it will do a health damage of 10 the it will have a two uh, amount of uh, two for the force impact by impact done by the bullet and the reference to the recoil script and that's all now if you will hit play as you can see it's a doing damage see now it will disappear because its health has gone zero and that's all i hope you like the video and it and the script is actually very simple you are just basically doing a raycast from the gun or camera position in the forward direction if the ray hits something it's a we get that's a component uh, enemy we get that component rigid body and uh, Im do Im a force impact and uh, do health damage by getting its uh, enemy component also and we are also checking the, if the hit object contains the enemy tag to take damage otherwise uh, it won't take damage and that's all for the script i hope you have understood if, if you have any doubt and uh, you can ask me in the comments and hope you have a great day thanks for watching bye